Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this video lecture, we will discuss what are microwaves and their properties and various advantages. Okay, so actually microwaves are nothing but electromagnetic waves and they are called microwaves because the wavelength of microwaves is small, is micro. That's why it is known as microwaves. So it is the reason why they are called as microwaves. Now let's discuss properties without wasting our time. So the first property is high bandwidth availability. Microwaves have larger bandwidth 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz in comparison to common bands like MW, SW, UHF, uh, medium wave, short wave and ultra high frequency waves okay therefore more information can be transmitted due to high bandwidth availability in microwave frequencies since the bandwidth of uh, microwaves is very large and we know that as the bandwidth of the wave increases its uh, information carrying capacity increases so because of this high bandwidth they can carry more information in comparison to other waves which uh, uh, that are having lower frequency than this okay so this is a very important advantage of uh, microwaves now we will discuss the second advantage and the second property of the microwaves it is better directive properties so what we mean by the better directive properties directive properties means if uh, some wave has uh, more directive properties then we say that its beam width is low we need better directive properties so as the frequency increases the directivity increases it becomes the beam becomes more directive because its beam width decreases and the radiation beam width is given by the relation beam width b denoted by b is directly proportional to lambda by d here lambda is what it is the wavelength and d is the diameter of the antenna okay so you can see here that this beam width is directly proportional to lambda so as the lambda decreases that is the frequency increases decreasing of lambda means increase in frequency so as the lambda decreases the beam width also decreases but in case of microwaves we have lower wavelength because the frequency is high so because of this low wavelength the beam width is low and low beam width means high directivity and we need high directivity okay so at high frequency we get high directivity of microwaves okay here one important thing that you should uh, keep in mind that uh, if we want to get uh, sharp beams at low frequencies then we require to have large antenna sized that is the diameter of antenna is needed uh, is large but uh, since uh, we know that microwaves have high frequency and to get sharp radiations at uh, high frequencies we do not need large antennas okay so because of this uh, high frequency of microwaves our job is done that is to get sharp radiations at small sized antennas having small diameters okay so this is a big advantage now we will see what are the power what is the power radiated and the gain in case of uh, microwaves power radiated is given by mu naught pi square i naught square l by lambda whole square here what is l l is the length and i naught is the ac current carried okay so you can see here that uh, as the frequency increases here notice as the frequency increases wavelength decreases we know that they are inverse to each other so on decreasing of this wavelength since uh, wavelength is low frequency is high in case of microwaves so as the wavelength is low the power radiated is high okay wavelength is low since frequency is high for microwaves so power radiated is high so this is high and because of this power radiated high power radiation its gain is also more okay so we can say that with the help of microwaves antenna with high directivity okay we have seen that uh, it gives uh, high directivity high directivity means sharp radiation beam or you can say low beam width okay and high gain can be designed easily at microwave frequencies we get high directive antennas and having high gain okay antenna gain is high we can design these at microwave frequencies now we will discuss the power requirements 
as compared to short wave band power requirements transmitter and receiver okay at microwave frequencies are quite low we do not need large powers power requirements are low at microwave frequencies okay now we will discuss the transparency property this transparency property is also an important property of microwaves actually what happens there is ionosphere uh, above our earth so the microwave frequency band uh, that lies in 300 megahertz to 10 gigahertz can propagate through this ionized layer okay that covers our earth okay so what is the benefit of this uh, transparency in ionized layer uh, of microwaves because of its properties these microwave radiations can easily pass through the ionized layers of the atmosphere and they can easily reach the earth after passing through it the benefit is in the field of astronomical researches various um, stars and our sun emit microwaves and they are lying above this ionized layer so when they emit uh, microwave radiations this uh, microwave radiation can easily pass through this ionized layer okay and we can uh, use this uh, information uh, for astronomical researches okay uh, this property is also useful in duplex communication and information exchange between space vehicles and ground stations okay because of this property it is possible because ground stations and earth stations have uh, have good communication can have communication because ionized layer is between these uh, it comes between these two so space vehicles and ground stations can use these microwaves to communicate with each other as they can pass through it the ionized layer is acts as a transparent layer to the microwaves now we will understand the reliability and fading effect it has been observed that at low frequencies fading effect due to variations in the transmission medium is more if we have low frequencies then the fading effect is high but we know that uh, frequency of uh, microwaves is high so obviously this fading effect reduces it is also written here that at the microwave frequencies that is there are high frequencies due to line of sight los propagation and high frequencies this fading effect is reduced okay and this makes the microwave communication a more reliable system it is a more reliable system due to low fading effect so i hope you got the point in the next videos we will discuss other concepts of microwaves Till then, bye-bye and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.